Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanna do a grocery haul for you guys. I haven't done this for quite some time. And uh, sorry, I have kind of an awkward like counter space. I don't have a kitchen table yet. So there's like nowhere to sit things. Uh, so first things first, start off with Carbonated water, because water gets boring sometimes, but you have to drink it. So this is kind of just a little bit of a change up. And uh, I'm not currently drinking a, a ton of kombucha because it's expensive, so this is way cheaper. It's like three bucks per thing. So fancy carbonated water. Just kidding, it's, it's not that fancy. First things first, the protein. Um, this is the center basically of my diet. I always center my meals around protein and vegetables and then like uh, a complex carbohydrate like a sweet potato, uh, maybe some rice, but mostly I try to keep my carbs uh, nutrient dense. But you can buy a whole chicken for $9.33 versus two chicken breasts for probably like anywhere between 10 to $12. So of course, the way to save some money is to buy a whole chicken, roast it whole. You can get a variety of dark meat, white meat, so you can have a little bit, switch it up. If you get tired of just plain old chicken breast all the time, this gives you some options. Then after you roast it, you can use the bones to make chicken stock or bone broth or whatever you want to call it. So I got the chicken. I actually got two of those. right here then with the chicken i like to roast root vegetables so i got um, some turnips onion garlic here's the receipt um, if you can guess the cost of this grocery trip you win something i don't know what yet but we'll figure it out guess the cost of this <laughs> all right so along with, okay, I'll just pull things out of the bag like a magician, but uh, okay. Almond Breeze, I put almond milk in my coffee or I use it with like protein shakes. Um, unsweetened variety, this is only like four bucks. Um, about a pound of Brussels sprouts. Got some olive oil. I'm still, I just moved, so I'm still kind of restocking or stocking my pantry. So I've been kind of just doing that slowly, which is why I bought a bunch of spices that I don't have for, uh, to put on the chicken for one, but uh, for other things as well. So I got thyme, dried basil, all of the, the <laughs> marjoram and all the uh, Italian-y type ones. I also got some fresh herbs, and this is a poultry mix. Um, so it's rosemary, thyme, and sage. That's tasty, fresh. Um, got some red cabbage. Green cabbage. Some salsa. I put that on basically everything. Uh, here's some oregano. Organic flax and chia blend. The chia is what I, I was aiming for, some ground chia seeds. I could not find just ground chia. I could grind it myself probably, but I couldn't even find the whole chia seeds. But I found this blend, it'll work. I use this for my shit waffles, which sounds weird, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, I eat waffles every morning, but not like the usual waffles. Uh, they are my shit waffles because they look like shit, but they taste delicious. The recipe is in my cookbook which is called Shit You'll Actually Cook, and it's at Shit You'll Actually Cook on Instagram if you wanna follow it there. I'll link all that down below. All right, we got PB Fit also for the waffles. Got a variety of spray oils. This one's for the waffles as well. Spray the waffle iron. This is avocado oil spray. So if I wanna use like less oil in the pan or something, I'll just use a little spray oil instead of like pouring it in. Just kind of keeps keeps the oil down a little bit if you're watching your macros. Got a rutabaga here that's also gonna be roasted along with the chicken. Got some parsnips that's gonna be roasted along with the chicken as well. I love parsnips. If you've never tried them, they are delicious, especially roasted. Um, last but not least, got some white sweet potatoes. A lot of people don't know 
well, there's like yams and then there's sweet potatoes. These are of the white variety, if you can tell. They look a little different than what you might imagine to be a sweet potato, but yet they are. They are my favorite. They're not as, as sweet as the orange ones, but I kind of like that. So, whoa. Generally, I would get bananas as well. Already got, already got some bananas though. And then uh, just to give you an idea of like what's in my fridge, I'll give you a look in here. So right now, I've got some eggs and then some salsa. I've got uh, this ribeye steak right here. Not a lot, but yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. This is my food for the week. Uh, guess the price of this and I will uh, I'll think of something to send you. So guess the price. I'll uh, let you know if you win or not. And this is all bulking season food for me. Uh, time to like make some gains. I should do a physique update at some point. I don't have any surgery in the future. This is like the first time I can have like a real break and actually put on significant amount of muscle, hopefully, knock on wood. And uh, I'm looking forward to just like a good streak of working out, gaining mass, uh, and that sort of thing. I think if you are someone who's looking to lose fat, um, if you're, you're watching your macros a little bit more, the whole chicken might be a little bit harder to kind of calculate. Um, but you can easily make it something that you can use on a cut by just not eating the skin, being careful how you cook it with not a lot of fat in it. Um, the dark meat really does not have that many, much, that many more calories than you think. People freak out about dark meat, but really it's not, it's not that bad and it's cheaper. So that is it. I hope that this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Peace out. I'll see you next time.